You want to go to the club? Yeah. Okay. Hello, friends. I'm Parker York Smith, and welcome back to Five Outfit Friday. Oh, the old summer night out. You want to look good, you want to stay comfortable. Maybe you want to grab a little attention from that sexy girl or guy over there. You kind of been making eyes with a little bit. You're like, hey, what's up? Yeah, I see you. I notice you. Regardless, as always, we're going to start super casual. I'm talking beach, chill, relaxed. I'm going to start with a graphic tee. They're really great conversation starters. You can go in any direction you want, whether it's a band tee, a sports tee, whatever. We're talking like the most chill, relaxed vibe. So chino shorts, something simple like these from Rourke. For footwear, when I'm being super chill, I prefer a canvas sneaker, something like the Vans Authentic. You could do Converse, whatever's easiest for you, or leather works too. And again, even though we're being super chill, I'm always gonna be wearing some type of accessories. You know I'll be wearing my DIY ball chain necklace. I've got this ring from Crafted London. Leather bracelet, I think is from Urban Outfitters like 10 years ago. And depending on my hair vibes that day, I may even throw on some type of simple hat like this from Stay Coastal. Not necessary though, it's totally up to you. Here's the whole look, it's simple. As I said, you've got a great conversation starter with your graphic tee. You don't have to be worried about your hair if you are gonna be wearing a hat. You've got some accessories to kind of set yourself apart, differentiate, add a little bit more character, but you're still staying really comfortable because of the canvas sneakers and the lightweight shorts. Moving on to a house party or something a little bit less casual. These event ideas are totally just random that I made up. It does, you don't have to wear these for these specific things. It's just supposed to be inspiration. Keep it real clean, plain white tee. This one's from Kohl's. I'm typically not a big shorts person at night. I much prefer to wear pants. It's more comfortable for me. I'm gonna do these black Madewell jeans I just got. Kind of wide leg. These are actually from the women's section at the risk of losing some of you. Sorry. Some dark gray dress socks to match the pants. And again, we are keeping it super casual, so I'm just gonna do a high top pair of Converse. I changed my mind, I don't wanna wear the white tee. Instead, I'm gonna do this forest green from Standard Issue. I just like adding a little more color. Also gonna side tuck it just a little bit, kinda just to play with the dimensions of the outfit. I just spilled water on myself. With something this casual, I'm definitely gonna go with some metal jewelry, just to be a little bit more bold, make a little bit more of a statement. Extremely simple, but still fun because I'm playing around with a little bit of a wider leg pant. If that's not your style, you could totally just do a regular black jean or even a blue jean would work with the green. And again, throwing on jewelry is an easy way to separate yourself and kind of make an otherwise extremely casual outfit appear to be a little bit more elevated, a little bit more dressy. Next, we're gonna get a little bit more dressy, something like a casual bar. Start out with this camp collar shirt from Kohl's. The bar is usually packed with people. It can get super hot, so I'm gonna do some shorts, these chino shorts from Izod. Personally, I like where a seven inch inseam lands on my thigh, a couple inches above my knee, but if you like something longer, go longer. If you like something shorter, go shorter. It's totally up to you. For shoes, I want something breathable, but still closed toed, so we're gonna do the Warache from Nisolo. And because I would always rather be over dressed than underdressed, even at a casual bar, I'm still gonna wear some metal jewelry just to kind of elevate things a little bit. I'm really letting the chest out. That's what's comfortable for me. It lets more air in. It's just kind of relaxes my whole vibe. But if that's not you, that's okay. There we go. A nice, lightweight, simple, but effective, that's kind of the theme of today's video, outfit for a casual bar, a casual night out. Color combo solid. If you're more comfortable in a sneaker than you are in a sandal, go for it. That's totally fine too. Now, hopefully if all goes well at the different bars that you're going to, you end up going on a date night. For that, I'm gonna start with a knit polo like this one from the Thai bar. When Jacqueline and I are going out on a date, I pretty much exclusively wear pants. I have these chinos from Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Also gonna tuck it in because we're just getting real presentable. Real clean. For shoes, going with these two-tone penny loafers from Great's brand. Gonna be wearing a lot of brown. Brown side of the reversible Coles belt. And for date night, I don't like to go too heavy on the jewelry and be distracting, so I'm just gonna do one ring. I got this on our honeymoon in Paris. Nice, kind of monochromatic vibes. Really love how the shirt and the pants are sort of a similar shade. It's gonna really elongate your body for the short kings out there. Such a good style trick to make yourself look a little bit taller. I like that I'm making a little bit of a statement with my shoes. You don't have to be this dressy, but again, showing up to a date a little bit overdressed versus underdressed is going to make 
your date a little bit more impressed. They're going to know that you really put in some extra effort, that you care, and that you wanted to look nice for them. Bonus points. And last but certainly not least, we go into the club. Starting off with this black short sleeve button up. It's embroidered from Guess. I just recently got it. I'm gonna layer it over a white rib tank. This one's from Goodfellow. I'm telling you guys, the tank does not just add style, it's functional. It's gonna keep your sweat in so you don't drench your outer shirt, especially at the club when it's gonna be hot. You're probably gonna be sweating. I'm gonna keep it all black with the chino pants from Hager. Little style hack for you guys. Chino pants are super soft and comfortable. Dress pants can sometimes be a little bit stiff because they're wool, but chino pants, if they fit right, look just the same and they're way more comfortable. So instead of wearing black dress pants when you wanna get really dressy, try getting some black chinos and they're gonna work in almost all the same ways. Why not have a little fun with it with the black and white GH Bass loafers? I'm leaving the shirt unbuttoned a bit because I like showing a little bit of that tank. I think it adds dimension. Now we'll use the black side of the Coles belt. I also really like this ring still, so I'm just gonna keep that on. I'm gonna wear my gold DIY bracelet from last week's video. And there we go. Feeling great. Definitely gonna be club appropriate, but I'm still gonna stay as comfortable as I possibly can because of the fact that I have comfortable pants on. I'm wearing a no-show sock to let a little bit of air breathe on my ankle. I've got my base layer from the tank top to hold in as much sweat as possible. A Little bit of jewelry. I love all black at nighttime. Even if it's hot out, you know you're gonna be sweating. Just go with it. And honestly, black hides sweat better than almost any other color. One final note, guys, and I can't stress this enough. Try on your outfit before you are getting yourself ready, especially if you wanna look really nice and feel really good because it's super frustrating when you're getting ready to go out, you put on your outfit and it doesn't feel right. If you put it on beforehand, make sure it works, if you realize it's not working, you can make small adjustments. I just hope you're ready to get some attention. I linked as much of this stuff that I could find for you guys down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else you wanna see. I remember when I used to go out. Now I'm just a dad and I'd rather sit home with my wife and watch Love Island. Life is wild.